We are more than two years into rebuilding our steel boat, and things are finally starting to go back together. It feels great, but there's just one problem. It's time to do the woodworking portion of the project, and I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I'm Taryn, this is Logan, and this is Max. Our life rarely goes as planned, and this story is no different. But we are determined to rebuild our beautiful steel boat, even stronger than she was before. And we're bringing you along with us. My friends, something very exciting is about to happen. I'm about to put the first board back in the side locker. So I've got all this stuff shaved down now, and I'm gonna put that board in right there, and then move on to this one. And you know what that means? That means stuff's going back together. And that is very, 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 very exciting. I can't wait. <laughs> okay, let's do it. You would think that because these pieces come directly out of here that they would also go directly back in, but of course that wasn't the case and a few modifications had to be made, which still didn't quite solve the problem. After a lot of messing around, I decided to pull it out again and cut back a bit more foam, which finally did the trick. Great. There it is. It's in there. The first board back in. Well, minus the V-birth, but like this go around. How exciting. And that was a huge pain in the butt, but we also look like a giant mess. Not very clean, but that kind of all happened when we took the board out initially. It doesn't really matter. I don't really care. It's just a storage locker. So I'll vacuum all this, clean it all up, and then move on to the next one, I guess. After a week of being in bed with COVID, um, I'm back here at the boat. And I'm about to continue on with putting wood back in. I have the wood sorted in the boat, I have the boat cleaned up quite a bit. So the next step is to try to actually get those pieces fit in. There's a bunch of stuff that's going to need to be rebuilt, there's pieces that are missing because stuff got broken, so I think it's just easier to go through and take what I know is going to go back in, put it in, and then we can fill in the gaps as we go. It'll be interesting to see what everything looks like at the end of this process, it's going to be quite the eclectic mix of pieces of wood and stuff. I'm not sure what we're going to do about that, but we will deal with that as we come to it. So you can see here that I have all the wood lined up that needs to go back in, but the issue is, well let me show you. If you look behind some of these pieces, there's quite a bit of space there that the spray foam didn't fill up. 
So there's that issue. There's also this one. See that one? You can see there's like quite a bit of depth there that isn't filled. Um, so there's that issue. And then also, you can see up here, you can see these ribs here. We didn't realize, because we've been paying enough attention when we were taking things apart, that there was no wood covering this spray foam. When we decommissioned everything, it was just spray foam. So, I cut off the spray foam off here thinking that I was going to have to screw some wood into those beams, but it turns out that there was no wood there. I didn't realize until I was looking and there was no screw holes. So we have to re-spray foam all those things to make sure that they don't rust. So because we have to re-spray foam the beams, we figured that we'd re-spray the cavities here as well to fill them up. So that wood's not going on until we've done that. And that's why all that wood is sitting there ready to go back in, but not being screwed back in. Over here on the other hand, it's looking pretty good. For the most part, the spray foam filled the cavities. There's wood here that all this is being screwed to. So, well not this, there's other pieces somewhere. Or there isn't because we got them destroyed. This obviously looks like crap as well. But I'm going to put it back in. And I think we'll deal with that later. Because it's one of those easy pieces to get in. And then we'll get a better look at what we need to rebuild. This piece ended up being similar to the side locker piece and that it just didn't fit in. We decided to prioritize the insulation and that meant that I had to do a few modifications to the board, but it paid off quickly. Let's see if that fits in now. And just like that, we have another board in. It looks pretty bad because there's chunks of wood missing out of it, but I mean, it's a start, right? But it was after these pieces that I really started feeling like I was in over my head. So I'm not going to lie to you right now. Um, I have no idea what half these pieces are. I'm going to show you kind of why. If you look here, we have a giant pile of pieces of wood. You see this? So many pieces. Now, some of these have labels on them. This is not one of them. A lot of them don't. And then there's all these little pieces. Most of them also do not have labels on them. And then we've got those, which are clearly floorboards. They can't go back in because, as you can see, there's no structure to hold those pieces of wood up. Then there's stuff like this, which again, this is like the backing for something. I don't know what it is. There's nothing on it. There's no label. This one, it says port. Does it go into one of these cabinets? I don't know. That piece I think goes in there, but I haven't put it in yet because I don't really know actually. I probably could do that. But the only other place that's port is there, and that's all got wood in it. So I'm assuming this piece here goes in there somewhere, but I can't fit it in properly anywhere I've tried. And as you see, there's kind of like this arch. So what I'm assuming is that it goes right in there. Well, actually, I think it's this one, because it's about the same shape. It separates those two cabinets. But I also don't know. And I also don't know if I want those cabinets divided. I kind of want it to be like one big empty open space. But I still need to find the back plates the pieces that go in the back and I cannot find them in this giant pile. All I have is a bunch of pieces and I have no idea where the heck they go. So, it's pretty annoying. There's also this cabinet. I don't know where those pieces went. Those came out pretty recently so they should be around but they also just might have been destroyed. There's this big piece here. As you can see, Again, no label. So here's the thing. Logan is pretty meticulous about labeling things and organizing them and making sure that things go the way that we want them to and that we know that everything is where it needs to be to go back together. 
this project however has been completely different because there's just been so much as you've seen so he's the one who pulled 99% of those pieces out and he labeled he labeled quite a few of them but I'll show you in a second here that's also kind of confusing um, but a lot of them in the shuffle and the craziness of everything going on and trying to get things done quickly the labeling just didn't get done I didn't do it either because Quite frankly, I'm just a tornado most of the time and I don't label anything, I don't organize anything. I'm a very non-linear thinker and organizer and the chances of me having done that are next to zero. But Logan, Logan usually does it. It just, this project has been so much and been so crazy that it, it didn't happen. So, we are in this conundrum of trying to figure out where things go and just not doing a great job of that. There's these pieces, which also, well that says port forward ceiling. So again, this is port. So if this piece is port forward ceiling, it's probably supposed to go in that cabinet, right? But I can't seem to fit it in. There's also this one that says hull, port center. So hull goes that way, so that means that it's like a standing piece like this that goes on the hull. But I can't figure out where that goes. Then we've got these two pieces. One of them says ceiling chart table. This is a chart table, but there is also a chart table in the V-berth. Okay? But now, if we look at this one, it says star aft nav. They're the exact same size and shape. Or, well, not exactly, sorry. They're really close. <clears throat> So I thought maybe they were just like put together and both screwed up there, but no. It's just a single one. So that means I've got a spare one <laughs> that i got to figure out where it goes. And I also haven't actually tested to see if it fits up there. And I still have that block there and I don't know where the heck that thing is. So, <sighs> yep. Giving up on the chart table fiasco, I decided to move on to the cabinets that had been taken apart the most recently, which, to no surprise, was also full of frustration. So here's the next conundrum. I don't know if we can see it in the camera here. You should be able to make the light better. So here, this piece is supposed to fit in, um, but it is overlapping right here, which doesn't make any sense because it's nice and tight over here. There's a tiny space down here. So it comes right along here, um, there's a tiny gap, but the gap only lasts till about here. And I think maybe it's just because of the curve that it's not fitting in, but I have no idea. Anyway, what I've got to do, get another screw in here, but then I have to somehow get this piece shoved down so that there's no gap there, and I'll have to screw in all the way up there and hope that it sucks itself in and hopefully then I can get it in this side. looks like a Frankenstein cabinet. It's like creative, but in the worst, ugliest, weirdest looking way. But again, at least it'll be functional, right? That's the main thing. We just want things to go back together in a way that makes them usable again. So, let's go. 
You might be thinking to yourself that I'm making myself look like an idiot in this video, and you wouldn't be wrong. I'm aware of it. But here's the thing. We all look like idiots when we're doing something that we're either not confident in or just don't have the skills to do it properly. Looking like an idiot is part of the learning process. And although I would prefer to look like I knew what I was doing, the reality is that woodwork is all new to me. And even if I look like a hot mess doing it, I'm proud of myself for taking on the challenge, moving forward and getting things done. And I would much rather set that example for the world than the lie of looking perfect. Mess is a part of life and one that I think we should embrace. Man, this is crazy. All right, so this seems to be about as far as it's going in right now. As you can see, there's still some overlap at the top here. It's fitting pretty well up until this point. Um, actually, that would go in too, yeah. But the whole top, the whole top will not fit in. And I think the reason for that is that you can't see from here, but that piece is at an angle about like that. So it should fit underneath, I guess, because of how Logan cut it out, but obviously it's not fitting. I guess I should have got the top in first, but you know how it goes. And the bottom wouldn't have fit properly, it would have been harder. So I'm just going to take the saw in here and cut off that top little bit. Just enough, hopefully, that I can get the rest of this in. Now. Oh. understand how this fit. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to cut one end or the other out a little bit because if it fits on the top it doesn't fit on the bottom and vice versa. So make this easier on ourselves. Cut the top a little bit. can finally all right there we go it's in I ended up taking the shelf back out at the bottom of the cabinet and adding in a support block after asking Logan for a bit more help on the technique and then I moved on to the next cabinet this time imploring better techniques and learning as I went Even with those cabinets put back together, I still have this massive stack of wood and I'm still not sure where everything goes. But that's all for another episode. Thanks for watching and an extra big shout out to our patrons, especially John, and we'll see you next time.